I started kayaking when I was about six years old, per coincidence. A friend of my dad's was one of the top kayakers in South Africa. So he showed me the ropes, and but um, I never had any idea that that would be a career path for me. In fact, uh, all the way up through university, I was intending to be a vet. I left after university and came to do some kayaking on the Zambezi River, and that's really where I got shown that you really can break the mold and that you don't have to follow the normal sort of path of life. Zambezi River at its lowest flows is probably about 15,000 CFS, which is just slightly more than the average of the Grand Canyon in the Colorado. The flow right now is roughly 700,000 CFS, and that would put it at seven times the volume of Niagara Falls. It's not to the point that we slide into the water that we truly realize you know, the task ahead of us. Uh, that first, just getting ourselves simply from the calm pool uh, of where we're starting the day in the boiling pot out into the current is, uh, is a task. You just know instantly that you're just a little tiny speck and you are fighting from the second you paddle out to the second you get out. You are fighting literally for your life and to get down the river. We're already seeing big whirlpools, we're seeing seam lines, and the moment we break from that calm spot or that eddy out into the current, I think we then realize and we can then feel uh, the rumbling river that's beneath us. Water has dammed itself up and formed features against itself where water is boiling up off the bottom of the river and that pressure coming off the bottom of the river is actually acting like rocks. And uh, so features form behind those, uh, those pressurized sections of water. But then you've got a, maybe a kilometer or three quarters of a mile to, of wave train just, and it's super fast and you've got to be on your game. I've been mean, the whole river all the time you're on your game. Now a lot of rivers also, when they fill up, they spread out. But because the Zambezi is in this tight gorge, it just rises vertically. What that does is it causes these very steep, what we call seam lines, boil lines, whirlpools and so on. And that's really the main danger here. If you end up out of your kayak in one of those, and sometimes even in your kayak, you could go down for minutes. And obviously that would have pretty serious consequences. So the idea here is to really stay in your boat.